Hey, Downey Vikings, it's Mr. Falkenstein here. Uh, I am the guest chef for the culinary arts class uh, for Mrs. Rios. Um, I wanted to show you um, some of the home cooking I've been doing and specifically how to cook a tri-tip. Um, I'm gonna use my uh, smoker to do it. Uh, you can also put it in an oven or you could do it in the on a grill as well uh, with some indirect heat. Uh, but more than anything, a tri-tip, um, I like to think is a low and slow cook. Um, we'll get to that in a second. I just wanted to kind of show you the, the cut of meat. So much with triangle, uh, but this is the general uh, cut. I got this from Costco. I think this cut was about $10, so it's not super expensive. Um, the seasoning, I think, is extremely important for the tri-tip. Um, and so as we're in a season, um, depending on what meats that I'm cooking, uh, the big thing uh, as I'm doing it, uh, to use olive oil or some type of adhesive, right? So the olive oil I'm going to spread around the tri-tip. Uh, for beefs, I like to put something to adhere it. Uh, for chickens, I normally don't because it's uh, a lot more slippery of a meat or it already has that kind of adhesive stuff to it. But for a tri-tip, it's a little bit uh, drier. And so I'm going to give it a little bit of olive oil as I go, right? I'll spread it around, just a nice light coat on the other side. Spread it around. Also, uh, olive oil. Uh, if you had a different type of oil, that would work as well. I like olive oil for the taste. Uh, I'm going to do two different rubs today. Santa Maria seasoning. Uh, this has uh, garlic, salt, pepper, parsley um, on it. And then this is a prime rib uh, seasoning for beef and pork. Uh, and its ingredients are salt, sugar, black pepper, spices, bell pepper, garlic, onion, mustard seed. All right, these are probably my two favorite for beefs and pork. Uh, I'm going to put both of them on there um, as we go. As I do this, I have one hand that uh, has touched the meat. I'm not going to put that into the seasoning. So I have another hand that has not touched the meat, right? Um, and so that's going to be the focus of, of what's going to go in there so I don't uh, contaminate it, right? Um, as I do it, I'm going to grab a pinch of it. And nice and high, I'm going to kind of let go and then kind of just rub my fingers together, right? The idea of a blend, everything is blended together, right? And the idea is I don't want to put too much of the blend all in one spot. I want to spread around evenly, right? And that's the idea of doing it from the very top, kind of have my other hand so it doesn't kind of get all over the place. Make sure the whole thing's covered on one side. Now I'm gonna do the Santa Maria seasoning. Get nice and high over top. There's the first side, flip it over. Again, I have one hand touching the meat and the other hand is not, it's doing the seasoning. Get nice and high as I go. This is the pinch, rub my fingers together with the blend. Right. So as you can see the seasoning of the meat, right, it's nice and spread out all over it. If I were to flip it over, again, nice good seasoning on it. Right, so uh, the tri-tip is now uh, seasoned and it's ready to go on to the smoker. So I'm gonna get the smoker going right now and I'll be right back. Hey there guys, um, so I'm now at the smoker. Turn it on, it's ready to go in low and slow. We're gonna be at 235 degrees. 
I might have a, a Rec Tech uh, RT340 smoker. Got this uh, last year. Um, it's got little pellets it's thrown in there, heating it. Uh, so it's a kind of a, a dummy proof smoker, and I'm going to do a lot with it. Um, it's going to do a lot of the that type of stuff with it, but just want to see us throw it on the smoker, the tri tip. So in the tri tip, we just seasoned. We're going to centralize the tri tip. And the really nice thing with the smoker is going to give it a great flavor through the smoke. And then low and slow is going to make it very tender. Um, so this size tri-tip is probably going to go into the smoker for about an hour. Um, the goal is that I'm going to check it. I'm looking for about 130, so 130 degrees uh, internal temperature. Uh, I want to check that in about an hour. It's going to take probably an hour to an hour and 10 minutes for it to cook. And there you go. We'll check back in an hour.